Getting it down. Getting it down. <clears throat> Oop. There we go. Oh. There we go. Oh, my bag. Let's see here. Does this sound good on stream? I'm probably going to miss it. Uh, I want to test the sound. Is the sound. And games are all quiet. Sounds of it. Games are all Sounds of it. Now testing. Now testing. Now testing. Yeah. Yeah. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing, testing. Testing, testing. And I need a little bit of. And let's see. Let's try this. Try this. Now testing. Now testing. Maybe I'll get more. Maybe I'll get more. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit. More. Test, test, test. Test, test, test. Yeah, there we go. That's perfect. Test, test, test. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Oh, wait. I'm an idiot. Oh. No, I'm not an idiot. Close some things here. Yeah. Back to Resident Evil 4. After I wasted 50 bumps, 46 bullets. That's cool. Uh, go on a nice trip through the water. Be like we do whatever I feel like in the water, and then this happens. of the game we get to throw a million spears at this thing. Anyway if you wanna <coughs> I don't want to send me right now. But uh he's doing his little attacks. Every time he knocks you off he's a little bit faster and takes a little bit longer. This is kind of a annoying fight more than anything. It's not really hard. And uh Depending on which, depending on which way the camera goes, that's the direction it's going to come from. Because of course he is. You can get like one or two off. Nope. And he always kind of knocks you around and it makes throwing a harpoon really annoying and so you can hit him underwater too. It's a little bit harder.
and uh, he comes from some directions here and as long as you hit him in the, the face area he won't knock you off the boat like so and then you go back to the normal fight this is honestly this is a cool fight but uh, it's a little bit annoying It's a little bit annoying, just because stuff like that can happen. You just kind of <coughs> awkward. But this is a cool monster chase can, which makes you really nervous, but it's actually not that bad. And if I get knocked over again, I'm just dead. Camera's going left, and I was wrong. And I'm going to die. 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 I have not died to him in forever. Yeah. Oh, first time for everything. I guess it's not the first time, but <laughs> yeah, it's fun. Fight a uh, giant salamander guy. Yeah, there's a gate over here. Look at that gate. It's a pretty cool gate. I'm stuck. It's fine if I fail a little bit. Oh yeah, he sometimes runs into these. And other times he just never touches them. And I am. Why am I doing this? I'm awful with this. These are, these are the things you wouldn't see if I was, uh, you know, editing this and tearing, but uh, then as I'm just running the stream and all that crap, this is pretty fun. Get beat up in Resident Evil 4 a little bit. Honestly, I'm professional. This game's not that much harder than normal. There is, uh, there is one boss fight that is actually much harder. On professionals. Much harder on professionals. We'll get to that one, but it's not until way way. Actually, it's two that's harder. Not, that thing, not good at telling you the truth. Not good at fighting this boss either. Fine. Ah, that's good. But there's two bosses. One of them is because it's an early boss and you don't have many uh, options weapon wise. The other one is actually just harder. And, uh, we'll get to that. I think it's 11 harpoons on professional. I think so. Or is it 13? I forget. Could be like one more. I could. There we go. Oh goodness. Ah. Yeah. Here's the final event for the final fight, and now he's dead.
number of times killed. That's stasis it about. Ooh, you're doing awful. Leon, it's been six hours since our last transmission. I was starting to get worried. Don't you mean lonely? Anyway, I started to feel dizzy, and, and I guess I must have lost consciousness. Lost consciousness? Maybe that has some connection to what the village chief was talking about. Hmm. Say, I'm all right now. I'm going to continue my mission. Oh, boy. Oh, he got the uh, flash grenades. There's also a flashlight, which uh, is somewhere. There it is. It's it's right there. I think. Whatever. Now, before you go on your adventure through Nighttime Village and y'all sing songy, you're gonna wanna look around near the boat. Because you can fish here. Look at that. You can fish on the boat. And you got, it's a little bit hard. So you have to. Just a, Kind of jiggle yourself around to pick up the fish, which is uh, not very fun. You can also harpoon the fish, like so. And if you want, you could you could sell some of these fish. I believe that one I shot was an extra large one, which. You know, it's probably <laughs> yeah, fish is just gonna be gone. Anyway, boats in this game are terrible because they're weird. Anyway, there's the there's a shop over here which you might not realize if you're new to the game. Go right across the water. It's all we boat up. And then here he is again. Got some rare. What are you selling? I do the fish work. Look at that. You could, you could grind fish. Is that <laughs> For some good money in this game. <laughs> Thank you. Elegant mask. What we'll are give you that in a second. I really like, I do like the shotgun. Anyway, if you, uh, come over here and do a little bit of amazing box pushing. You know, everyone loves box pushing. Especially if you play near Gestalt. I love box pushing, that's my favorite game. But yeah, you come over here, and uh, you can also break these, break it, braziers, brazers, sometimes they have stuff in them. But this area is pretty cool, because you can, you can get in the shop. Look, there's bananas over there, I think. It's kind of cool. 
Yeah, you can get in his shop, you can steal his ammo a little bit. There you go. And you get a little piece for the headdress, which... I'll be honest, I usually never finish the elegant headdress in this game. Because I always forget where the pieces are. And I always get like two or uh, two out of three, so that's that's cool. I might have already missed one. But you know what? That's fine. So, uh, here's big. If you go back the other way, the way you started to fight and said the way you're supposed to go, this is what I was talking about last time I was playing. You go this way, then you get this. This is special. Check it out. It's kind of cool if you don't know about this. Probably my least favorite enemy in the game. Next to one other one. Because they hit hard and they are incredibly fast. Which makes them extremely dangerous in this game. They're not too strong. But yeah, you gotta be careful with them. Cause they will, uh, they'll kill you. They have multiple attacks, they're fast. They're not fun to fight. And they don't have much health either. Which kinda makes them a bummer. They have just enough health for a TMP to be too weak in a pistol, but just enough that a shotgun will murder them. So that's uh, there's a, there's a thing for you. And even if you want to break those, you get stuff. Sometimes. Most of the time, I hear. And since uh, the, what's his name? Delaga or something? The, the giant salamander's dead. Uh, you can shoot the water all you want now. He won't get him. He won't kill you. There you go. There's a, there's a fun fact for you. A very fun fact, in fact. Indeed, in fact, in fact. Now you gotta break things. There's usually spinels in brazers. 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 Fire things. So check this out. This is kind of cool. And here is the Lost Plaga. Lost Plaga, Lost Plaga. And it's just a, a normal, normal grotto. But. He has a, that thing on his head has a whip. Oh crap! I might get lucky. Is it something I actually wanted to talk about? Oh yeah, fight. Uh, in the game, you learn later on, or as you go, that plugas are extremely vulnerable to light, and flash grenades will instantly kill plugas. Because it's a very bright light, it will just instantly kill them. Very useful. Another thing I wanted to bring up, at least in the GameCube version when I was playing it, out of all the times I've played Resident Evil 4, a couple dozen times, exactly one time, at least on the GameCube version, Two Pogas have spawned in this area. Normally, it's the one guy that's a Poga, and then the guy behind him is normal. And the guy, the first Poga you kill will always drop money. In the GameCube version, when I got two of them, they both dropped a massive amount of money. Which is apparently different now, because that was two Pogas at once, and they did not both drop it. 
So I learned something there. Here's a sick climbing animation. And here's a sick climbing up animation. So I learned something today in this game. But yeah, the GameCube version actually had some weird differences. Most of it was probably glitches or oversights or stuff like that. But uh, I'll, I'll get into them as I, as I notice them. There's a spinel back there that I missed. Because I have played this game quite a bit. And I, uh, I am tempted to boot up Dolphin and emulate the first version, of the original version of the game. See if I can't get some of this stuff to happen. I might want to do that one day if uh, people actually watch or care. Ah, <laughs> uh, crap. That's funny. But yeah, one day I might boot up the original version of the game on GameCube and just kind of show you some of the differences because. I don't see anyone bring up a lot of the very small details that got changed. Like just small things that I don't see mentioned anywhere. But that's fine. I'll find, I, I know the, I'll figure it out for them. I'll show you. I'll show the internet. I'll show the wood. There's some wood wood technology, as the freelance astronauts would say, about 12 years ago, 10 years ago. I do love the freelance astronauts, but they're not a, they're not a thing anymore, so no one cares. Anyway, here's a fun area. I might actually deal with this like a normal, like, uh, actually do it. Normally, the smart thing to do is just to get hit with a scythe. It's, uh, to just shoot them as they're crossing, like this, and they'll just all start falling. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Honestly, I've never seen him hold on to a leg. Hang on to ledges so much. I honestly haven't. Normally, they just fall off one right after the other. You can just wipe them out. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Damn. Eh, yeah, let's just do this. I suppose I could just, you know, do this. Oh. They're mad at me. See, everyone should still be stunned. Which is why you don't see them. This is why I like the... This is why I like the Punisher, actually. You can have a lot of fun with enemies with it. Anyway, with Poggers, especially this type, you want to stay away, obviously, but... Oh yeah, Poggers operate independently of the host body, so... The guy can be grabbing and attacking while that's also attacking, so... Be careful about that. It's kind of kind of bad for you. Anyway, ah, uh, crap! What was I saying? What was I saying? Uh, oh yeah, the Punisher is really fun to screw with enemies because of its penetration. It's not the the strongest gun. It's not the best gun. 
really isn't. But I have a lot of fun with it as of late. So I just here you go, check this out. A lot of fun with it. I've obtained an object that resembles a cult group's insignia. Wonderful, Leon. Head back to the church. Ashley's safety is our immediate priority. Oh yeah, if I if I kept going down the other path with the with the wolves and I went to the church, you'd be like, oh crap. How do I get this open? And she'd be like, you should go back and look. So there's a fun thing for you. Let's see. I think these bats... Oh yeah, if bats make Leon go crazy. He looks at the nearest thing. And so when there's bats, he just goes nuts. It's great. Look at that. Can't kill bats. Just knock them over. Yeah, there's, there's bats for you. There's a bunch of small things like that in this game. Just small, one-off things. There's fish over there. You can't even get those fish. Can't even get those fish. You can shoot them. You cannot get those. So it's kind of weird to even have it. Even have fish there. Got a selection of Isn't it? good things on sale. What are you selling? Anyway, we'll we'll just save all of our cool stuff. There's a boss fight coming up. And this, this is a difference that, this is a thing that was noted. I think it's fixed. In the original version up ahead, there is a yellow herb that spawns in this fight. And you could grind it to get your full health. I'm not sure if you can do that in this version. That might be fixed. I don't know. I can't actually give you the answer on that one. It was probably fixed. Rapido! 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 Usa los músculos! Rápido, apúrense! Por aquí! Rápido, rápido! Por aquí! Por aquí! ¡Ay! ¡Se fue el loco! ¡Mierda! That's a fun scene. Oh. Oh. Anyway, this is El Gigante. He's not that hard. He's kind of cool looking. He also has some very specifically annoying attacks. Which would be... Not this. He can throw boulders. He can pick up trees and use them to swing at you and throw at you but that's not his annoying attack his annoying attack is his weak half-hearted kick which will either happen or it just will never happen it, there's no real tell on it it just kinda he just kinda does it hey it's that dog it's that dog which I said hey release it you know release it if you, if you do that dog shows up, and uh, it distracts El Gigante while you're fighting him, which makes him a lot easier. Which is nice, because it's uh, more time he's not trying to murder you. And, uh, you know, that's, that's always a good thing. Because he's, well, he's not hard. He does have a lot of health. Let's see. There it is. It's half-hearted kick. 
which is his most da his most devastating move. It's just him slightly kicking you. Because <laughs> they'll just knock you over. The only move he has that doesn't have a real tail, he just kind of does it. And one of the one escape routes he have when fighting him is between his legs. So you're kind of kind of at his mercy when you're doing that. It's a little bit random. But overall, he's not that bad. Oh yeah, he bowls. He doesn't just throw the rocks, he bowls them at you, which is kind of funny. He can also grab you, which, you know, that's not very good. A lot of his tags are just pretty slow, pretty predictable. That one's also pretty dangerous when he swings behind his back. Anyway, you gotta injure him fully twice and cut his pog up three times and then he dies. So, besides getting kicked once, I did not get hit. Well, he got to you. Another thing you can do is smash these nice little cabins. But the stuff would just be on the ground where it was anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. But, you know, he didn't smash them this time, so that's pretty cool. Zero cabin smash. Run, I guess. New record. You know, you got a bunch of boss goodies to help you win the fight and all that crap. Because, you know, yeah. I would recommend saving as much rifle ammo and TMP ammo as you can. After, basically from this point on. Because game gets noticeably harder at this point. Not not that hard if you know what you're doing, but if you don't, you're gonna start running into some difficulty. Difficulties. There's a bunch of big events that happen one after other right now. And uh oh yeah, it's probably uh I should have did that during the day. Now that I think about it. But uh Sometimes you can see some cool things in the skybox. I don't know why I didn't do that in the middle of the day. I decided to wait till it's night in game for some reason. But you can see some cool things in this skybox if you look around. There's also a really ugly kind of forest over there, but do not worry about that. You want the shotgun right here? Please do bring the shotgun when you come to this area because Yeah, you want to reload it and get killed like an idiot. Cause I pressed A. Anyway, that's one of the attacks the dogs has. It shows you, yeah, they're they're pretty dangerous. The dog murdered me. They're, they're, normally when you get attacked. You have a 1 HP limit, like any good game would have, where uh, you get hit, and no matter how big the hit is, you'll have one health left. But since that counts as a bunch of attacks, I guess it doesn't, doesn't uh, cause the effect to happen. Once you start shotgunning them, they are not that big of a threat. They get knocked down pretty easily. Not very dangerous at all, actually. 
Yeah, there you go. Maybe there's some there a little bit stuff for you. There's the back of the church. Nothing's different here. I thought there would be though. <laughs> I forget some things, I guess. I forget some things. And insignia. There we go. Here's a nice little area. It's a church. I don't know what you expect. It, um, it's church stuff. It's got pews. It's got flags. Banners, I guess, even. You got chandeliers. Chandeliers. You got jumping. Jumping's pretty cool. You got the... Uh, this guy. And then you have a puzzle. So check this out. Do you want to solve this puzzle? You gotta make... Uh, you gotta make that. So to do this... You wanna line it up so the reds will be where the reds are. And the green will be... If you just want things to be where they're supposed to be. I know, that's shocking. If you want to solve a puzzle, you got to do it the way it's supposed to be done. Amazing, right? It's actually not that hard. It just, you know, it seems like it might be. Anyway, check this out. Take it easy. No! Get away! Calm down. Everything's going to be just fine. My name's Leon. I'm under the president's order to rescue you. What? My father? That's right. And I have to get you out of here. Now come with me. It's Leon. I've succeeded in extricating my subjects. Good work, Leon. I'll send a chopper over right away. Where's the extraction point? There's another trail that you can take to get out of the village. The chopper will pick you up beyond there. Got it. I'm on my way. Yeah, there's a playing manual for, uh... You know, Ashley. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. Wait, follow me. You can do that. You can shoot Ashley and instantly lose. Which I'm not gonna do. On purpose. There's a couple other things you can do. Like, for instance. Wait. Follow me. You can upskirt her. Which. She usually hey, right. What are you looking at? Yeah, there we go. I don't know, where is it at? Wait. Usually she calls you a pervert. I'll try again later. <laughs> yeah. I'll take the girl. Who are you? If you must know, my name is Osman Sadler, the master of this fine religious community what do you want to demonstrate to the whole world our astounding power of course no longer will the united states think they can police the world forever so we kidnapped the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back no I shot something in my neck. What did you do to her? We just planted her a little gift. Oh, there's going to be one hell of a party when she returns home to her loving. Chandelier's jiggling. <laughs> but 
Before that, I thought I might bargain with the president for some donation. Believe it or not, it takes quite a lot of money to keep this church up and running. Faith and money will lead you nowhere, Sadler. Oh, I believe I forgot to tell you that we gave you the same gift. I was unconscious. Oh, I truly hope you like our small but special contribution. When the eggs hatch, you will become my puppet. Involuntarily, you'll do as I say. I'll have total control over your minds. Don't you think this is a revolutionary way to promulgate one's faith? Sounds more like an alien invasion if you ask me. to us. Don't worry. We got into this mess. We can get out of it. Uh. Is that or that idea to sit in the presence of our home and cause a big mess and all that because the pog is good enough but that doesn't make sense why calling people to shoot at her with a crossbow just there but we're not going to worry about every little thing. But that is kind of a weird one. He's, he's not very, you know, he's not very smart. That sadly. He likes to pretend he is, though. Oh no. Shoot those barrels on that wagon! Hey, look at that! The hut disappeared for her to say that. How about that? Something neat. Oh yeah, if uh, enemies have torches now. That's a difference. Torches, and uh, they can breathe fire now. Because of course they can. Where was that other thing? I think it's in a bird nest, actually. I probably already missed it. I don't care. It's not... A big deal to me. And here he is. Welcome. Doing his thing. Got some rare. What are you buying? Red nine. Room handle Mauser. It is a very, 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 very overpowered handgun, and you should buy it normally because it's. So good. It's such a good gun. What are you buying? If you basically just want to win the game, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thank you. What are you just, just buy that. You will win. <laughs> Guaranteed. Thank you. What are you selling? It's just such a good gun. <laughs> but I'm not going to use it because that's. <laughs> Thank you. Eh, it's a little bit easy. Come back at any time. Wait, I forget to buy. Oh yeah, the red nine. That's right. Red 9, also, another thing with the Red 9 that makes it so good is it has a stock, which is, I think, one of two handguns that have, has a stock in this game. The other one you unlock after you beat the game and do some things. But it has a stock, which means you can basically snipe with it, which is pretty amazing. Wait, it's really oh. powerful. You can snipe with it. And it has a massive clip. Magazine. Whatever you want to say. It has a massive amount of ammo capacity. It has a very slow reload. Uh, reload. But honestly, by the time you reload that thing, you'll probably have everyone dead. Very powerful gun. Very recommended. Especially if it's your first time through the game, and uh, you just kind of want to, just kind of want to, you know, do good. If you need all the help you can get the first time to play this game, shoot bear traps. Anyway, now we have Ashley, and because of that.
because of the fact we have Ashley, we have no hazard to our health, or no hazard to us losing the game, which is Ashley getting kidnapped. So, if uh, at any time you're being distracted or you're not watching, an enemy will try to grab Ashley. Or it'll just straight up hit her, which ruins Sadler's plan again. But maybe there's something they could do about that, I don't know. Anyway, they'll grab her, and if they get to a loading zone with her, you lose the game. So that kind of sucks. There's another thing you can do. You can throw Ashley in the trash. <laughs> and then you can. She's perfectly safe there. She can't be in any danger. So if you need to do an area that requires a lot of enemies, there's usually a place to, that Ashley can stay out of the way. But she's not that big of a problem, because as you can see. Another thing you might notice is. As you go on, Ashley will stop being all shaky and all this when you're fighting, and she'll start fist pumping and stuff when you hit enemies. Which is actually pretty funny. After, I think, this first little bit, she'll start, uh, she'll start cheering for you, basically. That's kind of fun. That's kind of a fun little detail. There's a, there's a little bit of why I like the Punisher. I can do things like this. Look at that hitbox. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Enemies with skirts in this game, they actually have a side advantage over other enemies. Simply because the skirt is not part of their hitbox. It actually covers part of their hitbox. So, it actually gives them a slight advantage. Because you have to just... See? That little area right there. So just for a little bit, you can have a little bit more trouble with enemies like this. If you're used to aiming at kneecaps and legs, not a problem. If you're new to kneecapping people constantly, well, you might have some trouble. But yeah, practice your kneecapping. Literally the most important skill in this game. Next to a lot of things, actually. Understanding what enemies can and can't do. That's also pretty important. Basically, learn to be in control of the game at all times. I was going to see if she would call you a pervert here, but whatever. Whatever. I didn't even try and I did it. Bang, bang. If there's bear traps at all, you just get rid of them because Ashley will probably run into them. Follow me. Because of course she will. I think you have to do a bunch of crap to save Ashley. I opened it, Leon. There's the power of teamwork. It's piggybacking. Welcome. Got a selection of what are you selling? Uh, you know, the usual. What are you buying? Some fun things. If you have rare ammo guns, which we do not right now, save them. 
Save, use all the ammo in them, and then don't reload them. If you upgrade capacity, you get all your ammo back. <laughs> Come for free. Look at that. Get free ammo. Very useful to know. Very useful to do. Leon, I have some bad news. I'd rather not hear. Well, I'm afraid I have to tell you anyway. We've lost contact with the chopper. Someone must have shot it down, though we can't determine who. Great. We're prepping another chopper for you. Meanwhile, I want you to head towards the extraction point. Got it. There you go. Say it, but we're sandwiched, all right. Quick, in that cabin. Eon. Small world, eh? Well, see that the president's equipped his daughter. Sticks too. How rude! And I don't believe there's any relevance with my figure and my standing. Who are you? Oh, oh, excuse me, your highness. Perhaps the young lady might want to introduce herself first before asking someone his name. Her name's Ashley Graham, the president. She... Well, you know. Don't worry. She's cool. Eh, never mind. There's supposed to be some kind of obvious symptom before you turn into one of them anyway. Look! Ashley, upstairs! Okay, it's game time. If you watch G4 at one point in life, you probably heard it's game time a million times because that was the next play intro. Anyway, I think if you shoot this, Ashley reacts. I think, I think you can also kill her if you throw a grenade at it. Anyway, Lewis there, he'll, he'll handle most of this if you let him. But you can also barricade the windows a bit, give you some extra time. It doesn't actually matter too much, believe it or not. You can also uh, push from the front, which is kind of weird. It's almost never a time where you can do that. Oh yeah, Lewis will give you stuff. Try to save your ammo as much as possible because Lewis will handle it. He might be a bit loud here. Or it might not, I don't know. Another thing is, uh, if you sit around and shoot Lewis on purpose, he, he'll insta-kill you. He'll just sit there and insta-kill you. Yeah. This can be a hard section, though. It's a very small room. And the main threat you're going to find is Pogus. Because they have a lot of reach. And they will, they will they'll probably swipe you and kill you. But you don't want that. There's a full heal plus a health up. But this is also a very short section with uh, help from Lewis. Not that bad, actually. But yeah, look at all that damage they can do. It's crazy. The stuff like that can help. Not that great, is it? Eh. I think I'm good for now. I just wanted to show off a bit. Alright. Thank you for watching for a bit. I'm just messing around with settings still, basically. There you go.